We're just trying to get one more day in before this flood gets here. Rick Fouts and a friend want to get one more day of fishing in before floodwaters arrive to the already swollen river. You know, you just hope, hopefully, that it doesn't get as bad as it did in 93. At Margarita's restaurant, marks on the wall show where water levels reached, like in the 1993 flood that sunk the restaurant and other businesses on Southwest Boulevard. And despite massive sandbagging efforts at places just up the Missouri River to fend off 2011 floodwaters, it's business as usual at Margarita's. You can't stop water. You really can't. You can sand. The only way you can do it is put this building on stilts. Based on experience from record floods here, they can only hope that the only liquid they see in margaritas are the drinks they're known for serving. A Fairfax landmark shows historic flood level waters like that of 1993. Where exactly 2011 will fall is hard to predict. But this doesn't show one other flood that devastated a part of Kansas City and haunts many people with the rising waters on their way. It's scary. You didn't, at the time, you don't realize how scary it can be. Dwayne Daniels is a wine steward at Plaza 3 Restaurant and remembers working there back in 1977 when water burst through the windows one September night. There's always the uh, remembering that and the people, you know, that all at one night. In this case, it was flash flooding from Brush Creek that killed a couple of dozen people. And hearing again of rising waters and the people along the way. It's just not going to be, you know, like it was here, but it's going to be extremely horrible for them to have to live through it. So now he and others who have lived through historic flooding just watch, wait, and pray that Mother Nature shows some mercy.